Bible says don't judge. Because my father is not sitting on a judging seat. He's sitting on a mercy seat. Shall we shout hallelujah? Why we pray for healing is not because of, you know, we just, oh yeah, do you know what she has done? She done this one. That's why she get this sickness. I am really a holy person. You know why she died? Because she done this. But I tell you, it is not too late. Please tell you, neighbor, it's not too late. Because Jesus is not on the judgment seat. He's on the mercy seat. With his own blood. With his own blood. A sinless Savior's blood. So I can pray for healing. And he is there. The Savior is the healer. And he is the restorer. He is the creator. And he is a compassionate. He is a loving God. And he is an unconditional loving God. Not because of when we are all sinners. We died. He died for us. He took up our infirmities. He took up our sorrows. By his stripes we are healed. He's the God of compassion. It's a God of compassion. Today, as we just put the healing meeting, he's sitting in the mercy seat. You know when you come to him, when you repent and turn around, when you shake the foundation of sin, and the prison's completely broken, all the captives are set free, and many people are set free, and he's sitting on the mercy seat. That's why we don't judge. We pray for healing. God, you are a compassionate God. Raise up this person. You know, I was many years ago, not many years ago, maybe short, a year ago or so, maybe one and a half years ago, I had a phone call at night. You know, this is a family that they have, you know, that, um, you know, if you know about India, this is a Sikh family. You know, they have the Punjabi, Punjabi family. And this wife was phoning me, Pastor Sam, my husband is seriously sick and they tried to give the what he called that uh, his kidney has gone and they are doing dialysis and uh, and uh, there's no chance he's going to live and I want you to go and pray for him. I'm going to Bolton Hospital and this is in the middle of the night to one o'clock or something like that. Uh, and I just went there and looking through the ICU unit, ICU unit, you know, they are very busy, you know, if you worked in the ICU, anybody worked in the nurses here, anybody worked in the ICU? Uh, anybody? Are you anybody? Maybe no, you know that. Don't put your hand up. Okay, it's all right. Uh, a small window there, I was looking through the window and pressing the button. And because they were all busy running around looking after dying people or very serious people. And eventually I, I just pressed the button and somebody came and opened the door and I told them who I am. I'm Pastor Sam. So, we, uh, you know, normally they say this is not the visitor's hour because that two o'clock is not a visiting hour. So, but uh, I told them who I am, pastor, I need to come and pray for this person. And uh, of course that person is, you know, I don't want to explain, children are here and uh, in, in a mess. You know, they're cut and their machine is sort of a doing and that blood is sort of, uh, you know, sp sprinkling everywhere. He, I see you in it, I don't want to be very, very descriptive about it. I'm not really great fan of blood and stuff like that, but I said, God give me the strength. And I walked to this place in the person, and this person is sort of, uh, you know, cut here, and the machine is sort of uh, doing the dialysis, and uh, went there and prayed for him. And people are watching nearby, because there is ICU unit, there are a few people there, doctors were watching, and this person said, okay, fine. And I just prayed and come home, finish the job, because the job duty is belong to God. The healer is not Pastor Sam, I cannot heal even a fly. That's what I, I want to repeat. My One of my friends used to say the same statement. Because any man who is claiming they can heal, don't believe them. <laughs> because Jesus is the healer. So I just pray, God, your job is yours. And walked away from the place, uh, come to home and slept. The next day morning, I got, and this, poor, you know, this poor lady phoned me to say this person is completely got better in hospital. They are supposed to die, and he didn't die. And uh, she was rejoicing. Next day, I went and prayed for him. He got better and moved from that ICU to another ward. And next day, again, I let me go and see for this family because the wife was crying so much so. So I take him, Silla, and he was running in the ward as if he'd never been sick. <laughs> 
you know, I'm still alive, <laughs> still alive, doing well, running for the glory of God, serving God's purposes. You see, sometimes why God heals? Another very important thing I want to tell you is why God heals? For you to live, when God heals you, to live for his purpose until he take you home eventually. Why God want to heal you? Why God want to restore? So you never get into the same state. See, a man who restored that particular 200 pounds worth of vehicle, a car, a earthly car, he sold for 800,000 pounds. A person who bought the 800,000 pounds car is not going to allow that vehicle to go into the same position it was. He would put in his nice house. He would every day polish or ask his servant to polish. He will admire this vehicle and he would put this vehicle. I wouldn't buy a vehicle like that. But this man who bought the vehicle will have a nice showroom or somewhere where he admire the things and he look after everything. Shall we shout hallelujah? When we find, see when we find your life back from God, your life that is restored. God, God takes some time to bring you to the place. Often, you know, healing get delayed until the penny drops. Please tell neighbor, until the penny drops, sir. Your problem is not solved straight away. God sometimes wanted you to have the penny dropped. So you understand, it's okay. And I taken some money. The penny dropped, let me explain to you. I want to do the parking and go to the court to help someone. And I am putting this money into the machine. I was putting slowly. The money got stuck in the middle. <laughs> it won't register in the machine. I can't have the parking ticket. The money is out of my hand. It is stuck in the middle of the, you know, the coin machine. And what shall I do now? And I have to take a stick. I, I thought that I'm going to somehow get this money. I thought I'll put a stick. If somebody sees me, I'm trying to do something to this machine. So I decided I'm going to put another 2P into this machine. That machine take only 50P and 10P and whatever it is. When I put the 20P, it came into. Because sometimes the penny don't drop in our life. Spiritual penny don't drop. We don't do the things that God wants us to do. Sometimes we need to understand God heals. So that for the rest of my life, I'm going to serve I'm going to believe in God's word. I'm going to listen to God's word. I'm going to build my life on God's word. I'm going to allow, this, allow the, 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 the mustard seed faith in me to grow and mature and stronger. God would say, yes, the penny dropped. God saved you so you can save many people. You can help many people to be saved. God heals you so you can, heal, you can help many others to come to know the saving grace of Jesus. You know, God helps you. God, I can serve you with all my might, with all my strength. I can help many others to find the salvation. My life, God restored for the purpose for which you are created. Man was not created to live. A man was created to enjoy a life, live a life, but not to live according to his own plan. The original designer created man to have fellowship with him, not fellowship with the devil. Please tell him, no fellowship with the devil. <laughs> God created man to have that friendship and fellowship with him and those who love his, love his ways and to be in that place. That's why it's very, very important why we understand this. When the penny drops, I, I, God wants to heal me because I am going to serve his purpose completely. If God heals you, you go and rob and steal and kill and murder and do all sorts of a thing and beat up and rob and do all. Why would God bother you healing you? Many people miss the point. When you come to Christ, you have to understand. He's the healer. He wants to bring that healing into our life because he's full of grace, great, unconditional love. So you may be thinking, I come to God, I understand him, he's my redeemer, he's the mighty God, he's loving me so much. This country is so unconditional love for us. There is no condition. There is no string attached with that one. God, you know, when you come into the relationship, into peace with God, there is no conditions, no other conditions. God, because you love him, you want to please him, you want to serve his purpose. It's not to go your own way. 
God restore me so that I am not going to be going into the same position in a old garage. I'm going to stay in the place with God. I am built for that palace. I am built for this glorious purpose. You see, many people don't understand God's love. See, God, people don't go to hell because of their sin. They heard the gospel. They rejected the gospel. They rejected the love of God. They reject the compassion of God. They rejected the mercy seat of God. People go to hell. That's why the gospel must be preached to the end of this world. Shall we shout hallelujah? People go to hell not because of their sin. It's because they rejected the gospel and embraced the sin and rebellion and unfaithfulness and, and lived a life according to what they choose to live. And the devil continued to pester them. Satan continued to pester their life. Angels could not minister to them. They lost their course completely. God, love is so unconditional. People lose their way in life and ended up in the eternal thing because they reject the grace of God. They reject God's love. They reject God's mercy. You know, tonight I want to encourage you, wherever you are, whatever you are doing in your life, don't reject God's love. The punishment is for rejecting God's love than for the troubles that are a, are a life that is you lived a life away from godly principles. But when you, when you accept that unconditional love of God and the salvation come, God, when we are all sinners, he died for us. That is called restoration. That is called the salvation. God, why would heal? You know, he is the restorer. He is the creator. He can restore your peace. When we lived our own way, we don't have the peace. When you come to Christ, we have the peace. You know, when you come, you know, he can restore your freedom. You know, I go and visit people in prison, in courts, in difficult situation. And what was this difficult situation? I was in the Manchester Crown Court. And the judge said that if that person is going to stay with Pastor Sam to cut the story down, I'm not going to give him, send him seven years in prison. Seven years. Attempted murder. And God, you know, the judge in Manchester Crown Court set that person free. That person came and stayed with me for six, seven months or five months or six months. You know, if a judge wants to set that person free, God is looking for you and me to be the vehicle for his kingdom. He will wipe away every tears. You know, God wanted to shake the foundation of the prisons. God wanted to shake up the, the foundation of the prison that people are in and he wants to break that completely and set the people free. He wants to restore. He wants to bring freedom. He wants to bring health. He wants to restore your wealth. Oh God, I lost everything there. Take a moment time. Don't rush to, I lost something. I need to go and get it. Don't run the race. Just wait on the Lord. God, you lost something. Wait on the Lord. He won't fail you. Everybody in this world will fail you. But Jesus, my friend, I tell you, <clears throat> he will never fail you. His compassion, they fail not. His mercies are there until the final day. You know, here you can make the peace with him. Don't wait until the last moment. You lost everything there. Today you have not lost anything. You may have lost your marriage. You may have lost your finances. You may have lost your, some of your health. You may have lost your family. You lost your children. <coughs> but <coughs> all you need is in the hand of God. Because all you need is Jesus. And when he, even though the world tried to put you in difficult circumstances, Jesus wants to set you free. Jesus wants to bring that peace and the joy and the strength. He is a merciful God. God, I want to live your purpose. I want to serve your purpose. The, see, one more thing I want, to, I want to say to you is, uh, you know, Jesus, why he wanted to heal you, why the, we want the healing is, Jesus has got all the power and all the authority. Tell your neighbor, all the power and all the authority. Why would come to for a healing meeting? Because Jesus has got all the power and all the authority. And when Jesus sent his disciples, why would 2,000 years later on, Pastor Sam would put a healing meeting, want to pray for Jesus, said this, go in my name, I have given you all authority. Tell your neighbor, all authority. This is an empowerment night for the body of Christ. Empower my night for the body of Christ. I give you all the authority. So go in my name and not in your own name. Go in my name and preach the gospel and teach them to obey everything there. Their little faith will grow and become powerful in their life. 
My God, the God, Lord God, Jesus Christ, who raised from the dead. And he has got all the authority because the heavenly father has given all the authority in the name of Jesus. Every demon has to leave. Every sickness has to leave. Every trouble has to go as you come into the very presence of God. Because the father God, why I preach the healing is Jesus Christ has got all authority given by the heavenly father. And Jesus has given all the authority. The saints, even as you believe in Christ, he has given you authority. Please tell your neighbor, he has given you authority. Isaiah chapter 52, the last point I want to say, and see how it is going to go, the price for your healing. You see, when you go for something, you know, I just sometimes, you know, go and, uh, you know, somewhere, I just go that, uh, and, you know, they, they give something, and then finally they say, no, no, you don't have to pay, this so-and-so paid for you already. I said, that is interesting. And I look at the item, oh, this is nice, because this is... Somebody has already paid. You don't have to pay for it. You see, I take in a wonderful friends of mine. Often we take and have fellowship with them. And uh, I mean, you might have come across the same thing. You know, uh, I just had a good, wonderful meal and sat down with the friends and enjoying the meal. Very expensive, expensive meal. And uh, finally, we go to the till to pay or to the uh, to till to the pay to take my purse out and try to pay. And the, the man at the counter, okay, it'll be about 100 pounds bill because we enjoyed a good meal and so many items and things there. And then the, the man in the counter turned around to say to me, oh, no, 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 it is already paid for. Who paid for it? <laughs> Some of the, you might have come across similar instance. Uh, you know, my friend was there. He sneaked behind my scene and went there and paid the bill. Shall we shout hallelujah? <laughs> it's good friends. It's good to have some friends like that. <laughs> hallelujah. Jesus sneaked behind you and paid the price for you. He's a good friend. He didn't want you to pay the price. That's why you should don't feel sorry for yourself. The price is paid. It is all settled. Please tell me, but it's all settled. What I want to pray is not because of, I got a great anything there, power. I got a friend who settled everything for you. Have more of such friends. <laughs> and go with them. It's good. I'll pay for you. Why we pray for healing for people. This is the reason. This is the ten reasons I want to give you. He's still the healer. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 52. Let me, can you get it on the screen for me please? Isaiah chapter 52 verse 3. Thank you. For this is what the Lord says. You are sold for nothing. Because we are sold. Because we slave to the sin. Because we didn't get anything out. He tempted us. So we eat and that. We done that and done this one. <clears throat> Just by disobedience, we sold for nothing. <coughs> and without money, you will be redeemed. Because Jesus paid on the cross of Calvary, so you are redeemed. You don't have to pay anything. Shall we stand before the living God? Let me bring this to a close. And I want people to be empowered and strengthened. Let the worship team come to the front, please. Let's come to the front. We want to shake up the core, the, the foundation of the prisons. It's a wonderful night before God. He's a creator. All eyes closed in this place, please. All eyes closed in this place. Tomorrow, Saturday. Another day, we worship God. And today, you need to understand why would God, why the healing is relevant today because of the 10 points I was trying to bring to you. He's a restorer. He's a restorer. Restore everything that belongs to you. He's a creator. In his creation, there was no flaw. There is no mistake in his creation. We allow dust to collect in our lives. We just slipped away from places. God wants to restore. He's a compassionate God. He's a merciful God. He's not a judge. He's unconditional love for you and me. He restores and brings salvation. 
he restore and bring hope hallelujah hallelujah he is our wonderful father and the savior all eyes closed in this place hallelujah hallelujah greatest thing is to worship him is to worship him all eyes closed you don't have to look at the screen you don't have to put the music to let the worshipers lead us on singing you don't have to put the overhead projection for the songs let them sing you just lift up your hands god let my prison door be prison foundation be broken there is some foundations the devil has got some foundations the foundation is sin there is a prison the prison is built on devil's prison is not built on concrete his prison is built on sin and rebellion against god and our unfaithfulness to god and unfaithfulness to god's covenant hallelujah this night we come to you you're a wonderful god you are the healer you are the restorer and you restore your people you bring healing to your people and holy spirit is touching people's life he is the healer he is the restorer he is the restorer he is the restorer in his creation there is no flaw fallen man Adam and Eve rebelled against God 
and sin became the foundation of the prisons and this night god want us to restore restore our relationship with him when we have jesus we have everything we need healing is built within the thing from the same cross of calvary salvation comes and i believe for both god bring salvation god bring restoration god bring healing so that i may live my life for the glory of god there is nothing difficult for god god can bring healing you know if you going through so many struggles in your life god can bring healing spiritual healing physical healing emotional healing is all are equally important you know first of all the bible says seek the kingdom of god all these things shall be added unto you do not fear about anybody who put this your body into prison and difficulties but fear about the one who can put you into eternal hell god tonight i want to make that peace with you i want to come closer to you god you know don't run to the front just wherever you are god i want to restore my relationship with you you are the restorer you are a compassionate god i don't want to reject your love god i want to live in your love you may even know jesus but sometimes you reject god's love for the rejection you rejecting god's love is a serious business god i love you i want to come back to the loving relationship with you i want to walk with you god i don't know you i wanted you to tell me completely i wanted you to i want to make that restoration of the relationship with you god if that is you and all eyes closed there you want to restore that beautiful relationship with god and to restore your joy just lift up your hand wherever you are you don't have to come to the front now just lift up your hand hallelujah yes i see your hand yes keep your hand lifted up restore that that's what god wants you to do in your life hallelujah it's the greatest healing god can bring in hallelujah hallelujah keep your hand lifted up i will just declare something in your life to transform completely father your your hand to transform their life completely father god as they lifted up their hands they lifted up in faith to you lifted up in faith to you father god because the you you are a compassionate father you are not a god who judges you are not a god who god who god who completely merciless you are a merciful god you are on the throne of that mercy father i pray you will empower them and strengthen them father god i pray you are anointing your breakthrough in the life they become the head and not become the tail the life will be strengthened they walk in your goodness and mercy bless your children father god let them go with power and authority power and authority see now you may put your hand down please it's okay you made the transaction with god we got two more days we can powerfully minister to people but today i wanted to ask you another thing if you've been through so many so many struggles in your life uh, you struggles in your life you want to restore that you want to you want to build the strong relationship with Christ Jesus you may know something about him that's you you come to this place god i want to develop the deeper relationship with you that fellowship strong fellowship with you if that is in your heart please lift up your hand hallelujah hallelujah yes that's good that's good that's good and i want to go to another level god in you another level in you another level in you another level in you you know those who lifted up your hand those who lifted up the hand now if just to come forward please come forward this is very powerful in god you need to get this one rest of the people stay there wherever you are stay back wherever you are hallelujah those who lifted up the hand please come to the front stay there hallelujah 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 say that say that say that say that the relationship with god more powerfully walking with him compassionate god mm. is there anybody anybody here struggling with uh, struggling with any any health issues and god wanted to set them free just uh, okay okay my brother come to the front please 
Is it okay? Can you sit, be seated on the chair, please? Seated on the chair. You don't have to. Yeah, you go and sit down. You go and sit down. It's okay. You go and sit down there. Anyone of the chairs? Anybody else? Yeah, come and sit down, please, in the front chair. Clarence, sit down there. Health issues. Please sit down in the front. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Health issues. Be seated there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be seated there. It's okay. It's okay. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm praying for people to build a strong relationship with Jesus. Because it's a loving Heavenly Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be seated in the place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's wonderful God. Okay. And a chair. Hallelujah. It's okay. Relationship. daughter I have seen, all the struggles, all the struggles you've been through, you held on to something, you held on to something, I will strengthen your knees, I will strengthen your muscles in such a way you raise up as a spiritual warrior, fear not, I don't count the past but the future is in front of you, I will run with you, you will run with me and you will see the victory in your area, fear not. Fear not, fear not, fear not. I am on the mercy seat for you. I am on the, I'm on the place of restoring hopes and joy and strength to you. Let not the devil tell lies. Let not the devil say negative things. But you will become more than a conqueror. You will be victorious woman with joy and strength and freedom. I pray anointing, restoration in Jesus' name. Sweetheart, sit down there please. Is that okay? Father, I'm praying that joy and strength and freedom. The relationship be with you, powerful with you, and to serve your purpose in Jesus' name. Marjorie's life and the family life. Father God, I pray the hands will see the desires. Many people's life will be transformed completely. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, that relationship with you will be stronger. Through that, many people shall be touched and changed. In Jesus' name, you may go and sit down. Hallelujah. Father, I'm praying. What you started, what you started, you will complete. You're not going to stop and start. Father, your son, I decree that every blessings of heaven will flow far away. The son will be restored to the place of joy and strength. a liar, devil. You can't lie to the years. You've done in the past, but you've got no authority. Jesus has got all the authority and all the power. I declare. Full of mercy and full of strength. Full of power and full of authority. I pray that in Jesus' name. John, you may sit down. Father, I stand in agreement. Devil, you robbed many things. Right from childhood, you robbed many things. But here is the moment I give you eviction order. <coughs> Devil, I give you eviction order. You've got no powers. Every power of your backbone is completely broken in the name of Jesus. 
your lie and your deception your rule and dominion is completely broken through the blood of Jesus and i declare that the rule and reign of the kingdom of Christ will come and your son will rise up with power and authority and walk in the goodness and mercies of God father everything else should be broken that love relationship with you would be increasing and increasing and increasing you'll come to a powerful place father god never fail never be shaken i pray that you have joy and strength steve can you just come with me please quickly just come with me here hallelujah i'm going to ask steve to minister to you is that okay we'll pray for you just steve continue to pray for him just stay there hallelujah thank you jesus you are the king of king and the lord of lord what's that pretty clash pray for is too hard for you. My job is to pray. And you are the healer, you are the restorer. You died on the cross 2000 years ago for your son to serve your purpose. This night I'm asking Father God, the rest of the life of my brother would be for you. Shall we offer that to him completely, completely, 100% in every respect? Father, with my friends agreement, I pray for them that all these things shall be completely gone. You come from the pit of hell, go back to them. And the son, in the design structure of God, there is no sickness there. So I tell you, devil, that you are the one who brought in so many things. You go back. We have the agreement. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, healing and strength and freedom, Father God. Restoration. From this day onwards, there will be restoration, freedom. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name let my friend receive that and walk in the goodness and mercy in Jesus name amen what shall i pray for you for what shall i do okay okay father god i am declaring your love and grace your mercies whatever the enemy say will be completely broken your rule and reign come your rule and reign come do you know jesus is the lord do you know okay have only father restore the kingdom principles in his life transform everything father god you got all authority so i take the authority in your name and pray for restoration and healing father a testimony will come when my brother go to the hospitals and he would see god things have changed completely because it's nothing to do with me you are the restorer you are the creator you restore everything belong to your son in jesus name god's people shout today amen sweet heart what can i pray for you transformation come completely transformation come completely joy and strength the relationship to her level to walk with you and the freedom father god freedom 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 i ask in jesus name health and healing hallelujah back again i ask you just come here magic can you come with me just come here. for you more of your god more of your spirit in your spirit there is freedom in your spirit there is healing 
set the captives free. Freedom come, strength come, victory come. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Jesus' name. Father, I'm praying for a breakthrough. A love relationship with the stronger to walk with you. Never to go down, but just to love you and follow you closely. Lift up your hands, daughter. Just lift up your hand, God. Just lift up your hand. Do you love the Lord? Do you want to follow Him closely? Is that okay? Right? Don't turn to the left or right. Just follow Him. Father, I decree that the joy of the Lord will be strength and freedom. Freedom to these children, Father God. Focus on you and your love and grace. Every other plan of the enemy to be broken. In Jesus' name. Okay, three of you go and sit down. It's okay. Father, you restored. Continue to restore what belonged to so that, yeah, can you just pray for this lady, please? Just pray for this lady. Pray for this lady. I'm calling your beautiful name. In your name, there is freedom. In your name, there is restoration. Whatever the enemy's plan, completely be broken, Lord. You are the healer. You are the restorer. succeed. But Father, I pray that Bhavadi will not be a survivor, but she will be a continue to be a warrior and destroying every yokes of the devil. A life to be strengthened. Her walk with you will be strengthened. Restore, restore, restore because there is no flaw. Total healing, I pray. Total joy, I pray. Total strength, I pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. learn new things put aside the things that you know but I am the one who died and rose again for you there is nobody else nobody else, nothing in this world apart from me I am the Lord God who, is, who, who died for you I will restore everything there as you trust in me, walk in the place with joy and strength Father restore everything belong to your daughter let the enemy fail let the enemy set them to fail joy of the Lord come, the freedom come, the breakthrough come. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray.
In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Just sit down quickly. Just sit down. Just sit down. It's okay. Sit down. Sit down. Just stay there. It's okay. Father, the love for you to increase and increase and increase, never to fail. Father, she come to a place trusting in you. Father God, more of you. More of you every day. More and more and more and more. More and more, Father God, of you. The rest of the years, the rest of the years, powerfully, she be a powerful tool in your hand. Let your love and compassion surround her day and night. Father God, many things try to be, many things, many in this world try to steal her away from you, but they fail. Your love fail not. Your mercy fail not. By the blood of Jesus Christ, I declare victory and breakthrough. <clears throat> Every other yoke be completely broken. Your daughter will walk in the goodness and mercy and joy. She'll be a woman of strength and freedom and walk in the mercies of God and knew every day the promises of God, I pray. Release that healing, inner healing, strength and power and authority to overcome the devil. And she'll be a victorious woman in Jesus' name. Jemma, you may go and sit down, sit down. Amen. 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 Freedom. 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 Father God, first hand door. It's a freedom I'm speaking. Father God, everything else will be completely gone. And that love relationship will increase and increase. Increase and increase. And increase. A newness in this, a newness in the body, a newness in the mind. Lord God would say to you, whatever is past, be washed. Be washed by my blood. Hallelujah. Clean and restored, a greater relationship. Walking in the freedom, full freedom that I called and chosen for. Father, I decree over this man in Jesus' name. I decree over this, your child. Let everything be restored in Jesus' name. Powers and authorities of heaven, hell be broken. Kingdom value and kingdom strength come. Let him move with your power and authority in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What could I pray for you, Lisa? Just give, give your other hand as well. What could I pray for you? you cannot rob anything father I declare I declare father God Lisa is your property not the property of the devil not the property of anybody else is your property you are the one who died and rose again as she believe in you and come closer to you father God restore the joy restore the fortune restore everything father God as you walk into the principles with you and walk the steadfast walk with you I break everything else in Jesus name Everything else in Jesus' name, I declare the glory of the Lord to surround her and bring her to the place of that freedom. You are the mighty one of Israel, that discipline to come, that favor to come, the joy and strength to come. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, you may sit down. Hallelujah. Thank you. What's your name, sweetheart? Sally. Sally. Sorry? she poured into many people's life and she given things away without expecting anything back the Lord God says I remember every one of them my daughter even as a child you know if there is a two toy you given it away to someone 
ones who haven't got one anyone who need grow up you are patient with many things patient with many things many people i remember every one of them but my daughter it is not by your strength all those things what you done in your life i have not forgotten but here is the time i am i'm i wanted your soul to be fully restored to the right to the throne room where you live not by anything else by my spirit the lord god would say to you that covenant to be restored that covenant walking with me is powerful and i will restore everything that belongs to you you will never fail my love never fail the lord god would say to you my grace will be with you and with your with your surroundings and my peace will be there when you wake up that will be my peace will be there when you go to bed that will be my peace when you walk in the in the places where you need to go where you work whatever you do i will be with you here is a time of determination god will give you the determination and god will say that as you are determined to follow my ways i will never leave you never forsake you recommit and recovenant with me i will restore the joy restore the strength nothing would fail nothing will be taken away i am the lord god who called and chose the lord god is i hallelujah i remember every one of the kind deeds that you done to people i have not forgotten but here is a moment my daughter i want to restore that first joy and the joy with which i want you to walk the fellowship of the holy spirit never 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 lose never lose is not worth losing it is in obedience to my word the lord god would say to you does it make sense to you sir yes. hallelujah god will restore everything amen, amen. Okay. shall we all stand before the living god <clears throat> hallelujah heavenly father we thank you and praise you for this wonderful evening and you began something we want to shake the foundation of hell we want to f- shake the foundation of the prison so people can be set free people can walk in full health and healing and in freedom god bless every one of them we give you all the glory in jesus name god's people shout today amen our coffee and tea and enjoy the fellowship tomorrow 7:00 o'clock we'll see you again god bless you